Hi guys, did you know that dinosaurs were probably the first living creatures on Earth who witnessed a volcano eruption? And today we're also gonna see that. At least Susie said so. Ah, uh, Sammy, you still don't believe in me. Well, you did kind of trick me earlier with that bathtub thing. All right, get ready to see something spectacular. A plastic container? What a blast! I thought highly about you. Shush, Sammy, or I'll lose my thought. This is going to be the area where we'll place our volcano, but guys, make sure that you've asked your parents before using one. Ah, I got it! The plastic container will minimize the consequences of the eruption! Smart! We're also gonna need several test tubes, like this one. I'm sure you can find those in the nearest craft store. And since I promised Sammy a colorful volcano, let's make it rainbowy, which means… Six plastic tubes? No way! We need seven tubes to make a rainbow, hmm? Hmm? Ha! I knew we had extra somewhere! Great! Thanks! Woohoo! Seven tubes for each color of the rainbow! <laughs> That's right! Let's start with the easiest part. We need to secure these together… with an ordinary rubber band. Here we go! Great! That's easy! To be honest, I don't quite get yet what is going on here. We've got a construction like this. Guys, you might want to use one more rubber band just to make sure that everything holds tight. Uh-huh. And how are we going to make that construction stand still inside the container? Ah! We'll use a good amount of kinetic sand. Sounds awesome, huh? Whoa! We don't work enough with it, huh? Guys, give us a thumbs up if you like playing with kinetic sand like I do! We need to tamp it down really well, forming kind of a hill. By the way, after this craft, you can no longer play with this kinetic sand. It will simply get all messy. La, 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 la. What? I won't be able to play with that? But you can substitute it with the regular sand. You'll just need to moisten it with water. But Susie, we do have more kinetic sand for me to play with, right? Hey! Fluffy! That's not a toilet! <laughs> okay, guys. I'm gonna get a few cool props to create proper surroundings for our volcano. I'll be right back. And that, my friends, is called lava. Hey, Sammy. What's going on? Oh, I've just decided to entertain these guys while you were away. Speaking of that, what do you have there, Sue? Did you decide to grow some microgreens? Yup. I thought it would be nice to make some kind of a forest around our volcano. You know, just to make the whole eruption thing look more realistic. What a nice idea! Do you agree, guys? Then quickly subscribe to our channel to support me and Dino here. By the way, did you know that there are about 900 active volcanoes on the land? Their number in the oceans and seas is still not specified. Of course I knew that! Did you forget that I worked with the most famous volcanologist back in Tibidaba? You did, huh? Then why don't you tell us something about… the most famous volcano? With great pleasure! Let's check out my knowledge treasury! Ahem! I'm sure that all of you know the volcano called Mount Vesuvius. Oopsie! Situated in Italy, it erupted at least 30 times! Its most famous eruption happened many, many years ago and wiped out the entire city of Pompeii. Once the sophisticated Roman city was buried under six meters of volcanic ash and pumice. Can you imagine that, guys? Can you, too? Wow! Sammy, you do know a lot about that. Thank you for an interesting lecture. In the meantime, I think we're done with the greenery. Just a couple more sprinkles of artificial grass. Oh, Sammy, maybe you also want to decorate our volcano? Yeah, you bet! But I have a better idea than that imitation forest of yours! <laughs> well, well, well. Let me just… Ah! Ooh, here is a nice place for you, buddy! There's plenty of tasty green leaves for you right here! Roar! I want to take part in this craft, too! <laughs> I believe these might also come in handy! Great idea, Sammy! You know what I like most in crafts like this? You can really get creative! And also, you can make it together with your friends and family, because crafting together can't be boring! Exactly! <laughs> well, guys, I think we're done here. Wait! I've got an idea! I'm gonna take some before pictures for future generations! <laughs> That's right! Guys, let's have a closer look at our wonderful installation, because after our volcano erupts, nothing will stay the same here.
All right, guys, it's time to bring our volcano to life. <laughs> and our first ingredient is, ta-da, baking soda. There you go, Susie. Uh, never mind. One spoonful for each test tube will be enough. Proceed with the other tubes one by one. Here we go. Whoa, shiver me chatters. What is it, Sammy? Tell me or it'll get stuck in my mind forever. <laughs> It said that only during the last year there were 78 confirmed volcano eruptions in the world! 78! Tell Tibidaba, not every volcanic activity leads to massive destructions. Okay, here goes the next ingredient. Dish soap? Really? What does it do with the volcano? Just a few drops of it will make our volcano explode in a really bubbly way. <laughs> we'll just try to add an equal amount of it to each test tube. This way. Perfect! Guys, we did a great job! I really hope you didn't forget any tubes! And now the most colorful part! Food coloring! Purple, green, blue… Wow! So many colors! Just right for a rainbow! Let's start with the blue one! It's so beautiful! All right, but promise me to take pink next! Ooh, I can already imagine how bright our craft will be in a couple of minutes! Come on, Sue! Speed up! I can wait no more! Chill out, mister! <laughs> we have several test tubes on the row! Then we'll add some acid to this mixture. And get a big kaboom! <laughs> we'll get real magic, Sammy! Meh, whatever. Anyway, could you get me some acid? I mean, vinegar, please? While I'm finishing here. Hmm, I guess this one is next. It's so hard not to get confused! <laughs> this experiment is totally safe, guys. But you should still be very careful. <laughs> the vinegar is here, Sue! Please tell me that you're done! Almost! Just a few more drops here… and… that's it! Guys, are you ready to see our volcano in action? We certainly are! I'd even put on my special gear! Then let's do this, people! Hi, guys! Welcome to the magic lab of Roger and Sam! I hope you are all ready! Less talking! Uh, I could just leave, you know! Well, in that case, I'll just make myself into the slime! That's not hard at all when you have some clear glue. And a tiny bit of water. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah? Well, your slime isn't bright! I can easily fix that! Check this out! We'll need just a little bit. Hop. And hop. Now let's mix it properly. Is this bright enough for you, Sam? Yeah, it doesn't look bad at all. But I won't share my candy dash with your slime anyway. <laughs> Don't worry. My slime will be eating magnets instead. <laughs> Oop. What? Did I hear that right? Now you have to explain everything! Okay, just let me add this mixture of water and baking soda. And stir everything well. This is what you should get, guys. A cool and a bit sticky thing. Roger, how much longer do I need to wait? I already grew older! Alright, here's the secret ingredient. Metal filling! Just check out the color of this powder, guys. Looks awesome, right? And kind of magical. Now comes the final mixing stage. You can either do it in a bowl or straight on your desks. Just remember to be careful with it. And don't forget to wash your hands when you're done! That's a very good remark, Sam. I assume that your good mood is back again, huh? 
I just really want to see how that thing will eat this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. We can also make our slime dance a bit, like this. Oop, oop, awesome. <laughs> well, slimes are cool as they are, you know. What else do you have to show us, Raj? All right, buddy. What would you say about this? Oh, it's sharp. A nail? Why do you need a... Oh, no! <laughs> I know that trick, Raj, from earlier today. <laughs> hey! Are you sure? Then let's make it more complicated. Oop. A big kaboom will happen! Hide, everybody! Ah! <laughs> That's what I call magical physics! But you guys should better test that experiment under adult supervision! Whoa! Is that a new magic spell, Raj? That's a chemical formula for sodium acetate, Sammy. For our next experiment, we need 300 grams of it. Oh, and one more spoonful. And then 100 milliliters of water. Is it edible? Why are you cooking? <laughs> Actually, sodium acetate can be added to some food as a seasoning. Like potato chips, for example. But we're making some hot ice here. Holy cannoli! Did you hear that, guys? That sounds like it's worth a million thumbs up! Now that our solution has boiled, we can carefully pour it into a glass and leave it to cool down. Two important things here, guys. The glass should be transparent and you should be able to close it with a lid. There we go. I know who can help in the cooling down process. Elsa, am I right? Let's see. Now, is everybody ready for something marvelous? Here we go. Even the tiniest grain of sodium acetate will be enough to trigger that marvelous process of crystallization. So cool! Guys, subscribe to our channel if you like what's going on so far. And stay tuned, because there's more! Okay, guys, for our next experiment, we need a small plastic bottle with a tube. Let's fill it up with water. And here's the soap mixture for making bubbles just like you asked! We're going to do a bubble trick with dry ice, guys. We also need to put on gloves. And cover the working area with a towel. Let's get started. Oh, I better get ready for this one. <laughs> what we'll do now is put our dry ice into the bottle. Here we go. Something's happening already. <laughs> and close the bottle cap really fast. Now watch closely. with dry ice. We need a bowl with water, a glass with soap solution, and a rope soaked in it. Huh, that rope strangely resembles my shoelace. Yeah, 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 there's no time for that. Take the dry ice. Now listen to what you should do. Uh-huh, got it. So first, we need to do this. Sam said I should do this properly. Now comes the dry ice. Oh. Yay! I definitely like this chemical reaction. <laughs> Do it, Raj! Right! Here we go, guys! Woohoo! <laughs> oh my god, Raj! So many awesome tricks! What else can there be? Do you want to know how magical simple water can be? Sure. Yep, and a piece of cardboard. Watch me. We'll do this. Are you ready, guys? Now. Oh, voila! No way! Wait till you see this! What? Oh, give us a thumbs up if you're as surprised as I am. Oh. Roger? Ah, there you are. Oh, sorry. Were you looking for me? 
a teddy bear? Ha <laughs> uh ha, -huh, very funny. For your information, it's one more trick I wanted to show you. Do you know anything about static electricity? Oh yeah, it's when the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. <laughs> exactly. Now check this out. You can even fill a glass that way. You know, Raj, I learned more today than I have my whole life. 